Hey guys, welcome back to another HTML tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to use data attributes in HTML. So data attributes are not only used in HTML, like they're, they're used in HTML, however they come they become useful when used in like when paired with HTML, JavaScript and CSS in an entire web page sort of system. So I'm going to show you guys how to use them and why they're useful. So let's create my index.html and yeah I'll show you what I mean by data attributes let's say we have uh, let's just say some kind of div this doesn't really matter I'll give it an ID of demo div and then we can head into the style and what I'll do is I'll just give this a specified height and width so that you can actually see it and where are my data attributes? Okay, so here's my uh, block. Actually, I don't really like this color. Let's choose something a bit better, like lime green. Okay, so here we have my div. And how to access data attributes is very simple. What we can do is inside of this, um, I don't know what you call it, inside of a div's uh, area, HTML. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, inside of a div, what we can do is it's pretty simple. You do data and then you do followed by the name of the attribute. So for example, in our case, let's say we wanted an attribute for, um, I don't know, let's say the color of it or something. So we could have the color of this and this is just going to be equal to, for now, let's keep it as lime green. Okay. so. What you'll see is if I create a JavaScript, actually, you know what? I can actually just do it in here. Uh, I will just defer this. And yeah, okay, so what I can do is I can grab this element using const div is equal to document dot get element by ID. And then what I can do is I can actually access this data attributes using dot data set and then followed by whatever this is called. So color and then it will print so I just console plug this so you guys can actually see like so and what has happened here uh, okay let me just oh the null is not an object um but well, I'm assuming this is probably just because okay I'm running this script. Okay, yeah, so it's because I'm running this script after. I mean, I did have a deferred keyword, but I'm assuming that doesn't work when you're using uh, inbuilt JavaScript script. So, yeah, that's not too important. Now, anyway, you can see I can access this data set or this data element, which this data attribute, which I've assigned in the HTML itself in JavaScript. So, this is a way of passing data from HTML to JavaScript. And you'll notice this is just a dictionary, so I can also access that color attribute by doing this like that and now I can also set it from here so uh, let's say I want to change it now to red uh, that's pretty easy I've just changed it and you'll see that change being reflected uh, let me just make this a bit bigger so you guys can actually see it so if I go inside of the body and inside of this you'll see this data attribute has now been updated to red after this JavaScript was executed. So on its own, this isn't too useful. Like you can use it to send data from into HTML and then save it there, but that's not too useful, especially considering it feels in JavaScript in the first place. You could just store it in an array or um, variable. So where this becomes really useful is how you can dynamically change things inside of CSS. So what I can actually do is I can call this using the attribute keyword and uh, I can just call this so let's say I was doing like that oh, that has not worked properly uh, oh, I know what I've done I believe I have to do this hmm that's a bit weird okay uh, well I'm assuming you can't exactly call it like that uh, so let's just do something like that and what you can do though I know for sure is you can target things directly with this data color so let's say uh, you can just target it using this 
and you wanted to target this color element well you could do div demo div when the data color is equal to red uh, let me make this lime green for now when it's equal to red we want to change the background color to red like so and okay so now you can see if I comment this out this is lime green here now when we add red it goes like that so yeah that's pretty useful another thing this is useful especially for one example I can think of is in games uh, so let's say we had something like data score and let's set this to zero originally and what I can do is let's get this data and what I can do is I'm first going to convert it to a number using this and then I don't have to convert it back to string but yeah if you do this you can see now once we go to our element uh, let me just make this a bit clearer you can see a score has been incremented by one so now this is useful for we can target this inside if you're inside a game or something then I do data score is equal to let's say uh, you reach a score of three and we can add a special border two, two pixels solid gold okay so it's on one two three and you can see uh, oh, I can't really see that I'm gonna make that a bit clearer yeah so you can see we get our gold border like that once our score reaches three and to make this a bit clearer of an example I'm gonna add a uh, on key down and let's increment it every time the key is clicked okay so now our score is on zero one two three and you'll see we've got this and now if I click it again it's gonna go because score is now four uh, as you should be able to see here okay not there but yeah you understand the point and this is similar to how you could adjust these using classes but those are a bit more tricky and CS and data attributes actually have some unique properties so for example if you were to use classes your code might become a bit messy whereas if you use data it's inbuilt into JavaScript so it, your code just looks a bit cleaner and yeah it's super useful I believe you can actually use the attribute keyword um, although maybe it's only for content I think that also has to be before let's just see actually I can do data score now and I might have to do demo div before because I've definitely seen it used like this before um, okay well that has not worked properly I'm not sure what's going on with that attribute keyword but yeah this is basically how you use data attributes in in your coding they're used to pass data from HTML to JavaScript and can also be targeted in CSS to make it easier and quicker to code out um, features so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye